Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are, follow me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live, stream are, live streams are containing a free readings. Now the reason why I haven't been a, um, in touch with you guys lately, <clears throat> it is because um, as you probably know I am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes. And now as uh, the main tarot class which is the beginner tarot class, tar which is the beginner's tarot class, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently. Uh, means that you can uh, as soon as you contribute to it, you can uh, have it in your own pace. You are going to get access to the 12 hours of content lectures which are including uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well hopefully <clears throat> and uh, that is not all you also are going to get a one personal a free uh, not it's not free it is within the uh, purchase you know one personal a uh, coaching hour with me uh, whenever you do have questions you want to practice you know uh, you want to ask me certain things that are that uh, are pretty are, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the um, from the from the videos oh my god what is so difficult to talk today so yeah uh, pretty much things that are, are pretty uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour and as well um, as usual if you do want a personal reading with me uh, you can just purchase one from my website you can find it here into the uh, description down below and once you uh, set your purchase upon 24 hours i'm going to come back to you and um, via email that is and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed so that being said uh enjoy the show uh, i hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go your star sign all right so that is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a uh, Libra Rising uh, weekly. Oh my God, it's not weekly. It's monthly general tarot reading for the month of July, guys, uh, 2020. And uh, for that video, I'm going to use uh, my uh, four card star spread because I do enjoy it and because it's really a pleasure working with it. And uh, as well, in this video, I'm going to do something I've probably never done before, uh, at least not in uh, a YouTube video. And that is going to be to determine a time frame. So what that time frame is going to show you, it is how long it's going to take for the things you start in the month of July to unfold. And that is time frame from now up until that time. So they can happen earlier than that, but you are going to know the very least, the uh, uh, how can I say, um, how long for the most those things are to uh, those things are to unfold so uh, let's have a look what you do have Libra for the month of July now the first one here is going to be the page of wands moving next we do have the five of cups followed by uh, the knight of uh, the knight of swords and the last one that we do have that is to be the ten of pentacles here so let's uh, see what the time frame is Wow, so it's uh, by the end of August. So it will, it will, they will develop pretty rapidly um, for what it seems, okay? Um, so, once again, the cards before we dive into the reading here. Now we do have the Page of Wands followed by the Five of Cups. Moving next is going to be the Knight of Swords 
And the last one here, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so uh, Libra now that month is going to be a uh, a month where you are, for the most part, and uh, uh, no, it's it's not going to be for the most part, but it's going to be for the majority of it. You're going to maintain an exceptional positive attitude. And now, uh, unfortunately for the people that uh, does not want to see you happy and that does not want to see you prevailing, uh, it doesn't look like that you're going to dwell much into the um, previous disappointments and previous failures as well. That even, even more than that, guys, uh, whatever disappointed you back in the days, it's going to now fuel your enthusiasm to despite the failure or the disappointment you are to move on forward with your life one way or another. Now, obviously, that is very potent in terms of relationship. And uh, the, the example is pretty obvious. Um, despite a recent breakup, that is not going to be the thing that is good, that will uh, slumber you down and uh, you are more eager to find love around. And this is exactly what is going to happen if that is your case. But what those cards here are pointing is that the month of July is going to be month with a many new things that comes your way. And the best thing about it is that you are going to be open for everything new that comes around. So you're going to give chance to everything and everybody as well. Now, giving a chance doesn't mean manifesting okay that's very important to be acknowledged here but other things that are going to happen for you for the month of july it is that you're going to be reminded of how strong you are in general uh, in terms of chasing your goal chasing your dreams uh, performing well into career and being happy into one relationship as well so instead my point here is that instead you letting your happiness to be within the hands of somebody else and somebody else to control your happiness, you alone are going to take the leash there and you alone are going to give a direction to yourself, to your agenda, to your goal and to your happiness, uh, to your happiness in general. Now, you should not uh, hesitate to change path, paths. Oh, my God. Paths if that's necessary for you to feel happy. Uh, it will come very natural to you in a sense of that uh, uh, you are going to, for example, you're going to start feeling that uh, the job you're in, for example, can't offer you anything anymore and that you are underappreciated. And if that's your sense, then you have to start looking for another job. Now, you don't quit immediately here, okay? You just start looking for a another job because according to those cards, things are not going to improve. And as we are seeing here how uh, short the time frame is, if you do initiate looking for another job, you're going to have it by the end of uh, by the end of August, okay? So it's a it's couple of months looking for a job and that's nothing in the grand scheme of things isn't it uh, and same thing goes in terms of relationship as well now here it's all about finding your own interest and if what you are doing right now does not hold your interest there or your interest is not held there then uh, you you pretty much need to pre, uh, reorientate yourself toward things that actually can offer you a uh, accomplishment of your uh, of your interest. Now another thing that we do have in the reading here that will be the Knight of Swords into the positive position, and that is a person who pretty much uh, boosts your enthusiasm and serves as in an example. Because with the Knight of Swords, that's the thing with them; they are very tenacious and they do not stop in front of anything. Should they be convinced with their righteousness and with their agenda as well? Uh, the Knights of Wands, they also do not stop in front of anything. But for them, the reason is different here. The reason is self-conviction. Um, uh, is that the word even? I mean, being convinced into their... Um, you know, into their mind, into their thoughts, and and into that what what they are doing is best for them. So that person is going to give you a uh, uh, pretty huge uh, enthusiasm uh, and huge example that you gotta follow your own path and that you gotta follow your own uh, interests, if you in interest, if you will. But the biggest lesson that you're gonna learn from uh, from that person itself it is that whatever you are going to go for okay whatever decision you're going to make whatever action you're going to uh, perform 
uh, throughout the months of July, not just only throughout the months of July, but moving forward into the future, uh, it is that it needs to be consulted with your emotions in the sense of that you should never do things that are making you feel bad, okay? If something does not, if something reposes you, you should deny it because you need to learn to say no at the end of the day because uh, you can't feel constantly obliged to do things that are pretty much does not hold your best interest regardless for whom those things and those favors are going to be uh, are going to be addressed and where that whole thing leads to well uh, just let me gain control of my camera here well, uh, at the end, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, and uh, that is actually a very good fit with uh, what the reading is uh, showing by now. The Ten of Pentacles points to exiting of dependence in that particular case, and um, it, it's, it's not really about liberation, but it's about singularity in a sense of that you now can rely on yourself and on yourself purely now that doesn't mean you know that uh, you are going to play solo uh, meaning that you are going to be single or you are going to do your own private business but you are not going to feel afraid if you for example were laid off because you are going to know that another job it is it is a piece of cake for you to find moving forward into the future same thing goes about relationship that if you know your future partner gives you a hard time in relationship you can pretty easily find a new one and even live by yourself i mean that is not going to be a problem because once again you are going to be reminded of your personal strength and another thing that these cards may show uh, that is a purely, how can I say, a general, and I do really hate going that way with keywords and key meanings and all these kind of stuff. But as a general, I gotta, I, I gotta say it here. And that will be that uh, maybe uh, right now into the month of July, you are gonna start making an impression that you grew up tremendously. And person who dumped you, either business-wise or relationship-wise, back in the day, because they have named you immature and irresponsible if you will they are going to realize their mistake and they will try to earn your trust once again are you going to allow him to do so well that depends entirely on you okay because you may decide that that person had their chance they blew it away and now they do not deserve your attention or you may decide to give them another chance that is entirely once again up to you so that being said Libra this was your monthly tarot reading July 2020 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we're gonna see each other next time until then bye